Does anyone ever have hemorrhoids? I'm not even joking. Everyone has. Probably they just don't want to admit like it. Preparation age. But well, one time I'll have, I just feel like I wouldn't put the cream on. Maybe we'll put it in the first aid box so it doesn't feel like it's mine. I don't want to share it. No. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys missed something. I went to the store. I want to buy Preparation H and see if it's better than the it cream. I was embarrassed. I'm embarrassed to ask because he's going to think I have hemorrhoids. There was no self-checkout and so there were just two guys. So now I'm just like looking around. And I was looking for Preparation H. I can't find it. And is there like an section? I've heard that it's good for under eye bags, which I don't really have, but it's like tightens things up. I don't have hemorrhoids. I just want it for my makeup. And now Paul's gonna come in the store and be like, what the hell is taking you so long? And I'm gonna be like, I need to find something. He's gonna be like, what? Bingo. Now he's gonna think I have a real situation because he doesn't know that I'm doing the Lord's work for you guys. I bought it with some licorice to like hide the three packs of Preparation H. What I've decided is that IT Cosmetics Cream, they are better than Preparation H for under eye bags. It's a breaking news development. I did not know that Preparation H was Preparation Hemorrhoid. Let's do a day. Lainey, team meeting downstairs. Lainey's always, I told you, she's always where I am. You are the one who's always- We're having a meeting. A team meeting. All right. If anybody has hemorrhoids in this house, I have you covered. What the f are you, to, you think you're famous now. I can see it. Well, I'm insane, going. I'm not doing anything. I'm doing my own thing. What did she say last week? <laughs> no, okay, let's talk about a couple things. This is serious, this is not a joke. This part is a joke. I mean, this isn't a joke. <laughs> but this no isn't the serious part. We are going to try the ice cream again. The one last time was good, just minus the chips we right. up. Um, Number two, which of my eyes looks better? Like underneath. No, holy shit. it cosmetics for the win. Yeah, preparation H is good for your but not for your eyes. That is fake news, that is over. Number three, Vicky is my new favorite child. Show outside, Alton has to come too, we have to get him. I gotta show you what I, and I'm the hero in this story. This is the scene of the crime. Well, I came out here, I just wanted to do the Lord's work and cover all the chairs. So I was in here, by the way, do you wanna see an outdoor furniture cover? situation step inside i bought these and they have these compartments here they look like ikea shopping bags if i'm being honest and this is where furniture covers go this was my thing that happened sunday we labeled them look what i did so we washed them up vicky washed them all up she dried them she literally she's your favorite child yeah she scrubbed this is the table cover but this is our new program how how hot is it? how sexy is this how sexy is this it's hot. Like, this is insane, right? It's so chef's kiss. Next topic, dog pee pee. You said a whole thing as if you were like Caesar, the dog whisperer. They're too old developmentally to learn. I think you made that up. I think you're just saying that. They say all do old dogs are new tricks. I met Paul 42, he's changed a lot. He's in the full mind control program and he doesn't, you know what I mean? He's, right. he's identified okay. with his captor. Okay. Oh, Paul, the guy, Paul's not here. Paul's, Paul, Paul's on here, okay. I took Brent to Taylor Swift. It was really an amazing experience, I have to say. It was an, and I, she seems like a decent role model for girls. Like she seems like she's like a good girl, you know? Mm -hmm. oh, that's what she's portraying. I wasn't a fan and I really liked it, but it felt a little elitist. Granted, I was up in a box and I was invited and I'm not really a big fan, but it felt like it was a rich person sport. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when I got back to the hotel, I had been posting about it because I always want to like include people. I was sharing it and a couple of people, one woman said, well, we can never afford to go. And another woman said, we couldn't get tickets so we have to go in the parking lot. I didn't know like 20,000 people were going to be in the parking lot because I heard that later. But I saw a lot of people outside the hotel. So Paul had tickets in Boston too and Bryn and I could have gone again. The first thing I said to Bryn right after the concert ended was, Bryn, you did it. You don't need to go twice, right? Because I had this thought and I got to the hotel and Paul was sleeping and I texted Paul all these messages from these people. And I said, can we use some of the tickets for like somebody who really needs it? And I thought like a mom with their daughter that was really in need. And he was like, I had this, you know, I had the same thought. And so I called Jeff and I asked, I asked everyone. I literally asked every single, I asked you. A week after my concert is the Boston concert. So we wanted to do it right. We didn't want it to be, there were some people that were like, Oh, I can't afford it. And then Paul saw that they were in Aruba on vacation. Like, that's not quite what we're doing. So Molly found 
a girl, and Amazing. now yeah. we're gonna give her and her mother Taylor Swift tickets so she doesn't know. Bryn's coming out of school because I want her to see this. We're gonna cry. I don't know if we're gonna cry, but we, we don't know. And then the last update for now, Dollar Tree, Madeline. How is it? She was cool. Like, I thought everybody seems good until they get to the house. Yeah. She was a self-starter. Like she found everything and she was just like, she wasn't, you know how sometimes people have to yeah, babysit? Yeah. She wasn't asking 10,000 questions. Okay, so today, all kidding aside, I need to get deodorant because I, um, natural deodorant, I haven't found one that's worked. So I want to go to Walgreens, I want to go to Rite Aid, I want to go to CVS, and I want to compare them. Obviously that will not be a reflection of the entire country, but I want to compare Rite Aid, CVS, and Walgreens. Because when I was in Puerto Rico, I went to a Walgreens and it was leaked. All right, let's make some ice cream. Tried to make the ice cream the first time and it spilled all over these shoes. Nice lace work, by the way. Then we tried it, the three of us, and we didn't really read the instructions. Now we've come back, we're trying to follow instructions. We're doing the same mixture we made before that we liked, sans chips. Let's go. It's getting frothy and airy. It's been in there for easily seven minutes. Why would it work? Why would it not work? Like, why? Yeah, it's a urinal. <laughs> oh, UPS is here. Well, the more package is coming. Get it all out, because we're gonna get it back in the pitcher. Back in the pitcher. Preserve your mixture. I'm saving it for the other machine. This is gone. I want this out of my house. I'm so happy. I want you to know I was positive it was gonna work today. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm ordering the Hello Kitty ice cream maker that I had from years ago, because that bitch works. You know, she works. There's nowhere she won't go. We think the Kardashians work hard, Hello Kitty works harder. There's nowhere that she hasn't been. Lady of La Noche. I've always been a consumer and I want to know. I see something I want to know and it has to be great. So I bought the Cuisinart thing and I tried it three times. I'm pissed. Oh, this is Peepers. Exciting. I love this brand. I know. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's a reading glasses. I know. Oh. I'm aware. <laughs> Fully aware. That was, cute. that was a lot. That was a lot. My producer, AKA ice cream aficionado, said it was gonna work. We knew. With Jill Zarin style, get the tapes. Get the tapes, Andy. Look at the tapes. He said it's gonna work. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. You need to give it the time. If it's not gonna be ready in two minutes. Last time it was, no. I, here's the thing. Imagine if I were working multiple jobs, had multiple kids, bought my family this as a gift for a special treat, and this thing doesn't work. I'd be infuriated, and you know what would happen? I'd call customer service, I'd get nowhere, I'd message them, I message them, and sometimes get a response, because I have millions of followers. What's the regular person supposed to do? It started out as, I'm spending money so you don't have to. A housewife at a drugstore that's saying to me, thank you so much, like she doesn't, not only does she not have the money to test everything out, she doesn't have the time, and she doesn't know how to fish through all this stuff. Like, I've spent a lot of money. I could ask my accountant, but I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I need deodorant because I got very into the natural deodorant space, and I also got into the very armpit smell space as well. I'd like to exunt the smelling armpit phase of my life. Hi! Uh, thank you. What's your name? Mecca. Like, Mecca? That's so major. Pay your Pay your bills. Pay your bills. Thank you. Bye. I am very big at CVS. You want a picture? No, oh, she's just shopping at CVS. She's allowed. What are you getting? Um, just something for my boss. Okay, we can't tell. We can't. Maybe it's like me, hemorrhoid cream. A lot of shit is sold out. So what What's your name? Veronica. You know I'm the Justin Bieber of CVS, right? You are the Justin Bieber of everything. This music is brutal. This isn't the best CVS. Veronica? Where's the deodorant? Two? Okay, thank you. This music is torture. You said two, this is three. I know. You lied, it's fine. That feels expensive to me. Oh my God, is there another flavor I haven't had? What are you laughing at, Paul, without me? Hold on, it's all good, everything's fine. Shh, Veronica, we're out, we got it. It's all good. Okay, all right.
Basta! Stop being a stalker. See what happens. This is way. Help is on the way. I don't want help. Help should not be on the way. I can do this by myself. If you have your I got it. I'm already in a relationship over here. Oh, Paul, thank you. You paid. Sorry. I guess we could do a liquor review, cherry and lemon. I forgot to get deodorant, which is why I went there. <laughs> Insane. You want a licorice? Kyle Cam. <laughs> is the original or is it? Steak? It's cherry. It's <laughs> cherry liquor. What does it look like? It's cherry licorice. Where are we? At Walgreens? We're at Walgreens. Okay. Ooh. Wow, this is much more organized. I could become Team Walgreens. I don't know, deodorant, do you? Personal care? Do you know what deodorant is? Let's get organized now. Natural deodorant. Maybe I'll try more. Maybe I'll still try to be natural. Rose water ginger. Native did not help me. What? You can't? Who said? That's the first time someone has said they don't want you to record in the store. People can steal in the store and don't get in trouble, but you can't record. Thank you. All right, Aid. Now, I don't know a lot about Rite Aid. I've been there, but I don't have a preconceived notion. I had a great time at CVS. It was fun. That's my, those are my people. Uh, Walgreens was weird. And hopefully Rite Aid does something good for me. How cute these are. This is a great start. Wait a second, this is like the hit keep on coming. We have a dollar store within a rating. This is brilliant. <laughs> Guy swatter. Works. Look, I will just one good smack and I won't bother you anymore. One satisfying. No. That was it, I got it, it's fine. I was walking in here with no hopes. Like I thought, okay, it's another drugstore, check the box. I love this store and I don't really know much about it. I'm really happy with Rite Aid right now. And they have something I've never seen before. Never once seen this. This is my favorite drugstore. I'm shocked. I did not think I would love it this much. Everything is organized. Everything is merchandised. They have things I've never seen. If loving Rite Aid is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Whoa. Wait, wait. This is exciting. I come in, I always see the same shit. This is exciting. This is exciting. This is exciting. I'm excited. Wait, why don't I come to Rite Aid more often? I really don't know, but I'm gonna start. This is it. This is a major bag alert. I've never seen this brand. Please don't like anything. Please don't like anything. This is insane. I don't wanna like things because then I have to buy them. I know you. That's okay. That's totally fine. No, I got a card. Thank you so much. I love your store. This is the best store ever. I did not know. You know the store is way better than Walgreens and CVS. I did not know that. Oh God, I'm exhausted. The store was great though. Okay. Now we're in the editing process, because I, th I think I'm a hot stepper and I want to get it all, and then I get organized. This also feels excessive, and we're going to have to work this out, too. They don't have bags, so this is me now. Massive Rite Aid fan. Like, breaking news. Big, big Rite Aid fan. New convert. They got me. Winner by a mile. All right, we're going to go eat lunch. We are at IHOP and it has evolved. This has been really fun because this is all nostalgic. Like this is all bring back childhood. I hop when I was a kid, I would come with my father and I've always been excited for all the syrups and nice watching it evolve and I like, and I also like like American restaurants that you see across the country and just like being excited that they're what they used to be. Like we have to go to a Friendly's, a Sizzler. Look how nice. Oh my God. Oh my God. Trace leche pancakes. They're like cushy, fluffer, and there's a sauce. We like it, Picasso. IHOP is wonderful. I'm really excited. One of the things I'm loving about this is going to these places and being surprised. So we are meeting a mother and daughter. The family has had some challenges, personal challenges, life struggles. Paul and I really wanted to find a mother-daughter to give Taylor Swift tickets to that really, really needed it. And while it seems strange to say someone needs Taylor Swift tickets, I have heard stories about music uplifting people, inspiring them, and when you've been through a terrible, terrible life ordeal, much less being a child, not getting to have a normal childhood because of it, I think that these experiences are monumental and we are going to send them in a car 
and they're going to have a Mommy and Me hotel night and go to see Taylor Swift. And we both feel really good. We pulled this together in like two days and we feel really, really good that we chose the right people. So we're gonna get to meet them now and tell them and they don't know. All right, where's Peanut? Hi, Squeens. Hi, Booby. Hi. Hi, how are you? Thank yeah. you for setting this whole thing up. Of course, she just pulled in right here in this Amazing. Bar. Hi, Bethany. This is Bethany. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's Lynn. your name? Lynn, this yeah. is Corinne. Uh, what music are you listening to now? Who are you into? Taylor Swift. You are? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are any of your friends going to the concert? A lot of my friends are. Really? And you're not? No. No? Do you like Taylor Swift too? Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. No, Aww. It's so sweet. Aww. Yes. <laughs> My fiance and I, Paul, have tickets in Boston and Bryn and I went last weekend. I said to Bryn when we were leaving, do you really need to go again? And she said, no, I don't need to go again. And we said that night, you know, we really would want to find someone, a mother and daughter who could go together, who could really enjoy the experience and someone who needed it, who could use the morale boost. So we have Taylor Swift tickets for you and your mom. Really? Yeah, to go Friday. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. So much. Are you excited? She was yeah. doing slides for her father. Yeah, yeah to I was doing to... slides so I should go. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm really excited. Oh, yay. This is like her dream. Everyone say Taylor. Taylor. Oh, so a group oh hug. Thank you so, so good to meet this you guys. This is awesome. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, we got to get to the game. She thought she was coming to get a job at the concession stand. Her counts were low, so she couldn't go to her wish with Katy Perry, and she's had severe medical problems, and it's affected the whole family financially, emotionally, brutal. So we're so happy. We gotta go. We gotta go to the softball game now. We have to go to Bryn's lacrosse game. Okay, she doesn't play softball, she's right. So.